is Linda Jilk, J-I-L-K, and I'm Executive Director of Literacy Volunteers of the New River Valley. I think that education is about empowerment and hope and opportunity and changing lives through literacy is really the most important thing we can do to help our society. That um, low literacy skills is connected with poor health problems, crime, um, children's failure in school, poverty, unemployment, all of society's social problems are connected with low literacy. And um, to be able to work with people who are striving to achieve goals, to change their lives and their families' lives and their communities, it's really rewarding work. We work with um, over 150 volunteers. Their volunteers are the heart of our organization. My name is John Hess, spelled H-E-S-S, -S, and uh, uh, I am a tutor here at Literacy Volunteers. And there's 15,000 adults in, in the New River Valley without a high school diploma. Um, about 6,000 have less than a ninth grade education. Although he'd been through school, public school, he didn't have the skills of the alphabet and didn't really have the practice of connecting sounds that we sort of identify, not sort of, we identify with given letters. And so without that, you know, they're just symbols on a page and making it possible to take those symbols into sound, those sounds into words. I mean, that's a, a, a very big step. Well, I'm just going to school with them. One like the other school, I think. Yeah. They give you tests and stuff, and you probably look to read the stuff. And uh, if you couldn't, he would make fun of the They'd always talk. Kids back in make fun of them. You had to just get, you know, get in trouble a lot and stuff like that. It was, it was rough. Well, when he was having tests or something like that, it kind of scared me. I was nervous because I couldn't, I couldn't do it. So, so I, just, I had to fake my way through, and the most time I got an F or something like that. For, for the adult learner who is uh, willing at, this, at a point in their life where they're adult to dedicate time to learning how to read, um, it's, it's a commitment that you don't see in many people. I was at home one day, listened to the radio, and uh, heard them mess on the radio. So I called over here, and, and we'll come back in this little room, she got another tutor to help me and that's how I still come. What what what's the what's the reason for reading? And it's the richness of life that reading makes possible. That these that a, a student like my student um, wants to experience. And I got the walk and come so I just kept coming. I wanted to learn. I didn't want to I just wanted to learn. Instead I like to Learn history and stuff like that. And that's what he's not going to have us read. We read the, read the newspaper and books, and he gets stuff out and he helps me. For some words, I go right through them and say what I think they are, but they ain't what they are. He goes back and corrects me, and we get that right and learns me how to do that. And I'm learning the end of the word and start the word. All the time, somebody will start with C and I'll say R. Well, he's got me on that, so he has a lot of stuff. Up. And the books I take home to read, I can sit back and read a lot of them myself, and my wife enjoy it. So I couldn't do that for long. But I think <clears throat> if you have an opportunity to work with an adult learner, um, you quickly recognize the incredible skills they have to have been able to succeed to the point where they are now. And in the newspaper, I can look up sad party and we said, like, yes, I look up the have part. You know, you look at that, so you can you read their names and who they are. Just passed away. Stuff like that. And you look in the one ads and Trader time or something like that, look, see what's in our interest form and stuff like that. About parts or something. And I couldn't do it for now. I can look it up and telephone book. 
to help me feel for the fellow. Look up somebody's number. I was trying to look it up. I can look at the how much time I get myself now. But I couldn't do it before. It's hard to look in a telephone book to find something. But now I can look at her. I used to have to get my wife to look for something she looked up for. Now I can look it up for her help. But it made a big difference.